John 14 verse 6 John ne sufa fa pe ono Yeah chapter ya le tu al ta tu maktanga na want to thank God for our fellowship yeah Me man le ya ne yo challenge hey lo wa wo lo ni don lo le we center world right these are the things that would challenge my life in our meds in our ministry on amba the doctrines and the teachings of the church especially us traveling from overseas yeah seeing the faithfulness and the goodness of God but as for us we are actually moving forward now what are you going to take home let's press forward for your church yeah your family yeah or ultimately yourself yeah see the message tonight is a summary of what we have done so far yeah what does it mean to be christ like it is a vast and broader subject in aya tato wola fata ita ya kris in order for us to yeah. live a christ like yeah. lifestyle praise god yeah after i for the also tato pen want to thank, thank the you pen yeah you and so far for you know for fetcher ya tu yesu ya ti o une leal male up moni male ola e leal what you love say tasi le tama pe ale u mai ya ti There's so much wealth in this verse. When you sit down and ponder upon it. This verse is sufficing us for you to live upon. So our theme is on the screen. I am the way, the truth and the life. Amen. Jesus said I am. Maitala Yesu o au. He didn't say I have. Mai ele fa pe o ya te au. The way is a person. Mai ole ala ole tsangata sui fu. The truth is a person. Ole mia moni ole tsangata sui fu. And life is a person. Ole ola ole tsangata sui fu. Number 1. Mai mo mo. There is no other way. But Jesus. My Eli say siala say vanga na Jesus. There is no other truth but Jesus. Se le ai say si me money say vanga na Jesus. There is no other life but Jesus. Le say siola say vanga na Jesus. Ai, all need to inga matuale ye ya. See once we reach the age of our pastor to or if you see the city umba po ame work or ame le work. He would then ask what does it work and what doesn't work. Hence why our young people need to listen and pay attention. See, because the youth always touch things with their fingertips. But we need to listen to the wisdom of the old heads. They have been through life. They have tested and experience everything and i tell you the gospel works i tell it to all tell the lay and i'm a money okay of course that at the lord fall in and i marvel about Wait. someone sitting here tonight we well, you can be easily deceived by this world <clears throat> and i've seen it there and then you ask what shall i do to jesus i've spoken to you about jesus as your lord and savior in the book of romans throughout the seminars i encourage the pastors to go and study As I alluded earlier during the pandemic time we have studied the book. pastor I I personally took them for more than three years now verse by verse right throughout 
all the, the epistle of Paul. Amei to over my total sanga mato saili linga to si uma Paulo if I upu tai tasi every Monday and every Thursday. Mai oaso ngafua maso tofi tai tasi. It has changed our church. Bosui al mato ekalesia. Fear fear for tanga to my Bible study. And everyone is delighted yeah. to be part of this Bible study. Mai fear for tanga to and also we have a cup and even the hot pancakes in the midst of the study and it will increase the number and uh, hopefully they are not coming for the Bible but the cup of tea and you can see things started to flourish and seeing other fully being born again and also dispersing the pancakes Amen. Yeah. Yeah, you'll yeah. be shocked to see what the Holy Spirit can do in our yeah. eyes. Number two. Melon Alua. Trying to speed up a wee bit. And this is our covenant we're gonna have tonight. This is yours to take home. We're looking at the book of Isaiah 59. I uh, started from verse 19. Other people usually, usually quote verse 19 uh, neglecting verse 20 and 21. Yeah. Tao <laughs> Wafeta lai maya yova. Olo wanganga olo ilunga ya ati oe. Ma upu wa utu ina atu ilo ngutu. Elete ya ese iya ilo ngutu. Mangutu ala ufanao. Mangutu ala ufanao ala ufanao. Ea afuwa mainao na aso. Ae oo ili fababau. Uwafeta lai maya yova. Ma ise ya ao ona sao le fili. Isaiah said, when the enemy comes in like the confluence of waters, and the enemy will ra- and the Holy Spirit will raise the standard to combat the enemy. Yeah. And then a lot of us will end there. See, when we read verse 21, so that's where our part we need to play. So how can we lift the standard? Yeah. And then God said, I, I read in English the verse uh, 20, uh, uh, 21. Uh, listen carefully, please. As for me, says the Lord, this is my covenant with them. My spirit is upon you and my words I have put in your mouth. Church, that is your weapon. Okay, I'll say it again. This is what God is saying. This is my covenant with you. You're not giving a choice. You either do this or be defeated. Yeah. Can I ask everyone to stand? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this covenant. Now, this is our response to God. And then the enemy comes. And then the Holy Spirit will raise the standard. The Holy Spirit will not do it unless we yeah. act upon it. Just raise the hand like this. Now we are saying this decree before God. Okay. This is my covenant with you. Your spirit is upon me. And your word you have put in my mouth. Okay. 
Let's do it again. I want you to look up to him and say, This is my covenant with you, Lord. Your spirit is upon me. Your word you have put in my mouth. Praise God. For Wherever you go, you will always say that. If you don't speak, nothing will happen. God place his word in your mouth. And you will see your mouth will be very sharp. Nothing will intimidate you. When you speak and proclaim, you ought to know you are making a covenant with him. Covenant, it will until Amen. death, it will yeah. come to an end. Now yeah. we're gonna do it one more time before we sit down. This is my covenant with you, Lower to I, my God. Your spirit is upon me, and your word you have put in my mouth. It is what for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, take your seat. Thank you. You might be seated. Whatever the enemy will throw at you, regardless of the sick without any hope, your family is in dysfunction mode in your children. And someone rocked up who thoroughly understand about this. And then you will proclaim that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And His word He put in my mouth. Praise God. The LLE. Yeah. <clears throat> This is our ongoing battle as we face the world daily. People doesn't pay attention or talk much about the gay and corruption. A lot of people have not fully understand what sin had done to us. The wickedness of humanity and even the curse that we have been cursed. See, COVID is part of this curse. But listen to what I'm saying. And Jesus said, the prophets of famine and earthquakes and even tsunami and then Jesus didn't say only the sinners or the wicked these things will come upon hence why a lot of saints of God perish or die during the pandemic poverty amen and ultimate wickedness of humanity yeah. Listen to this free bit of yeah, hope that that mama mama mama. us. These are the three darkest pit humanity have fallen in. My the wickedness of the human heart. There's no answer to it. But Jesus. Number two. The ignorance of the human mind. God said my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. And then God said, because you have rejected knowledge, I am rejecting you. Hosea 4 verse 6. Listen, these are the mass. mass And the third one, poverty. Amen. So this thing, nothing can stop you from fall, uh, falling into it. You suddenly, you see your children being swollen by these holes. Amen. 
Now as we come to the end of the conference, you're going back home. See corruption that we are actually facing in this life. But the answer, Jesus came with the answer. This body, the mind, and even the spirit. I can give up very simple. Uh, very, very simple, simple uh, three things. Uh, look at yourself personally. You have a body. You have a soul or mind and emotion. And you have your spirit. I want my absence of Jesus in your life you are in total darkness with that three holds as I said last week see the word of God God has two books and the holy bible and the, and the book of nature that we are seeing when we talk about the book of, of God you need to experience these things. Please don't spiritualize things. I've heard people they speak against money. But you know it far too well. You need money, you need finance. Hello? Amen. And that some of the saints doesn't want their sickness to be diagnosed by a doctor. Been born again in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. There was that prevalent view they don't want their sickness to be taken to the doctor. What I'm saying, it's biblical. Look is a doctor. Amen. And Jesus said, the doctor or the physician for the sick people. Amen. Sadly, some of them can sneak out and see the doctor. They look down at you when you are a Christian at a time, then are uh, going to yeah. see the doctor. And they've been doing that practice just to sneak out in the middle of the night to see the doctor. God is healing the sick. We need to pray to the Holy Spirit. Now you've been led to go and see the doctor. You need to go and see the doctor. Amen. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you, and even with what we are preaching, go and check the word of God. Don't just hear it. See, the word of God is an amazing book. It is the way. It is the truth. It is life. It's Jesus. You see, Jesus is the word of God. It's amazing if we have learned and discovered this. Yeah, okay. I've been preaching this message here in Samoa. It might sound foreign to you. Number three. Melancholu. To be like Jesus. What does it mean to be like Jesus? Yeah. Well, look at Romans 8. Uh, verse 29. And 30. Twenty-eight to thirty, Romans eight. What that? That's all for it. And I will live at Tassime um my leila to where Walofa to the tour. Where Wabala win I loan a fin and allo. A while when I see a fear here no more. I yet to fear no more for it. You're falling I land to no allo. You're falling I am to here. In a year there, oh, yeah, Mau Matua, I also to tell it. Yeah, 
wa fa manu ya ina fo ila to we ya ya ka fa ma sangi me la fa lo ngoi upu ya bana sha sha o ka study ku familiarize your hearing with these words fa wa le tu si le fa ma la ma le le ya le fa le fa so long fa tak this is the only book that clearly expounds the salvation only the book of romans started from the depth of sin up to the point when you reach the summit whereby Paul said when you reach there you've been filled with the holy ghost and then Paul said who shall be against us we are more than conquerors Okay talo ya alu mase mala manga le ke alu ke dofa sanga i mali corruption and decay I'm praying that you will take this understanding to combat decay and corruption decay and corruption you cannot stop may len finite our fear le pala me me fa pio pi o mea na le tin no ye su le pa yen me na only the body of Jesus decay didn't touch ole sia fam kalanga fam kalanga fa ngo fie ke mam la mai to simplify it or paraphrase it Hence why we are ah. getting old or aging is You were running around with your mini skirts as if you will never die yeah but sadly to say you see gray hair cropping out You can do as much as you can to yourself you can see yourself very flamboyant yet you are slowly diminishing God said to Adam Adam thus you shall return Amen Saka iba se lau bad se lau fix se lau ka sang ka you used to live up to 900 800 700 years Utterly wicked. God deeply sorrow for the sin of his uh, Genesis 6 verse 3. God said, It is not good for my spirit to contend with the spirit of this wicked people. Amen. And God slashed longevity from 700 up to 120. Scientists have proven this. And I read some of the scientists who are trying to disprove this uh, statement of the word of God. And this is the other thing I would like to say. You need to know the rate of decay is running fast and furious. See, they have said what been 120 years. The fact is hardly anyone reached 50 in this day and age. Global warming is part of decay and corruption. Gay marriage is all part of corruption. Poverty. Amen. Amen. See, I'm taking a good look at the status of our Pia town. Some of the great business and houses. When you look at it, see people abandoning it. It's kind of running down. They are actually affected by decay. And even the new generation unable to sustain it. <clears throat> Yet sadly to say they are having an argument and and They are still going on with that dispute okay. And I've been telling my church in Melbourne See, leave those land in Samoa for them to well, we need to pay, You need to pay attention to the word of God To raise you from where you are This is biblical This is biblical See this massive hole The nefariousness of the universe And that's the only answer is Jesus Nothing can change the human heart Your education doesn't change your heart Amen Only coming to church 
I tell the person right next to you, please and you need to be born again. You need to be thoroughly born again. Instead of you just attending church, you still behave the same. Amen. But Jesus came with the answer to these So listen to this wonderful thing. In spite of things, when things disappearing, but Jesus came with the answer. We are unable to slow down. We are unable to stop decay and corruption. Amazingly, we can drag it down or slow it down. Tell the person right next to you, we have the ability to control decay. Amen. Regardless how holy you are, you will see them fading away. Uh, the forefathers, the generations. As for you, you need to look at Apostle Toho. It will help you slow your decay. <laughs> We were going to have a good snooze. DK is still eating you alive. Amen. Hence, why you sleep tonight, a young lady, you wake up tomorrow, an old person. Is that true? What I'm trying to emphasize, you are taking your time. Listen. Even our church, so much argument and disputes. If only you sit down quietly, you will see your church flourishing. Even families. For us living offshore, no need to stick your nose to the people here in Samoa. See, when you move overseas, the, the reason why you come back to Samoa, you don't have any solid foundation overseas. And you will end up having a dispute with your family with a small block of land. Guys, come to yourselves. But you are boasting about your salvation. <clears throat> this is one thing about DK global warming see climate change and global warming and see the word of God says that islands will disappear if the islands is going to disappear why waste your time coming back to the island only apostle Toho will come back to the island Yeah, I need to speak some wisdom into our people. Because you don't have to let your people this is one hole that has fallen yeah. a lot of stuff. And I'm very cautious in regards to others about stupidity or being ignorant. You refuse to be educated, no teachable spirit. Train yourself. Uh, we have been filled with the Holy Spirit. See, church doesn't uh, grow accidentally. Even the families, they don't uh, just play best. See, see the education right next to your house, they are not demonic stuff. See, we need that knowledge in the world. Amen. Yeah, And this is one thing I will always encourage <coughs> A lot of Christians, sadly, they live in poverty. They try to do things for the church. Amen. 
You are so good in speaking tongues, but you're looking for someone to help you or donate. I've been looking at these things. They speak against people doing business. See, when we have uh, fundraising events, they will always look for the business people in the church. So we are always going to Yes, please come. You have the abundance on you. But I have the axe on my back. Why? See, my spirit is upon me. And this word is placed in my mouth. See, you need to speak the truth. Amen. See our Christian life We need to come down from your high thrones We have been so spiritual We are not good for anything You are unable to realize something on you You are very spiritual And just, just kick the, the leg of the person right next to you Just tap the person right next to you Yeah so listen to the answer see verse 29 that we have read and then Paul said God foreknew you he predestined you he called you he justified you and he glorified to paraphrase and expound it a little bit for all of us present even in the world God foreknew you and Ephesians 1 it is in the book before the creation of the earth God foreknew you what it means by that you didn't come here as someone wandering around pretesting you have giftings Christians you have the abundance of gifting from God sadly they went down to the grave without utilizing them he called and then the and then the calling will come online not, none of us you are present in the online news. You don't have a calling. Centrality is a problem. It's ignorance. Why, and you're, not why so? ah. you've been wandering around. We had the bosses meeting. Why? This are uh, had enough with people shifting from one church to another church. And, and then they had a, an argument with and one church. And then become an elder from one church. <coughs> and then he relocate yourself to Australia. And then you bring your family Amen. down to Sydney. Once you tick off, you, you and, you to, and then you fly from this state to another one. See the problem with you. We shouldn't laugh at it. I can't hear. I can't hear at all. Please, on this phone back. Sorry. Yeah. I will come here. My message. See, when we pay attention to these things, for new, predestined, called, justified. That's salvation. And our free things will happen to all humanity. Uh, when you are justified, that you're born again. And then God already called you. Yeah. And then, the last thing, and then you are glorified during the rapture. See, you have gray hair. You haven't attended to what God placed in you. Please stay put where the church you are. You need to serve in that flock. Amen. 
After being anointed as assistant pastors in New Zealand, yeah, fire up with all your Australia and migrate to Australia. Oh, my father will apostle or make a fire. And then boasting about apostle anointing their pastors. Yeah, fire fire. I saw no yeah fire pega. And then they just wandering around like that. Yeah, they will make a fire. They will let it fire. And now, as soon as later said, we are relocating somewhere. You know, no can't call it. You see, when you fly too often, suddenly later you will slide down. Amen. So long as you can't come to that time, and you will settle. Yeah. Allah will come to that time, and you will settle. Yeah. Allah will come to that time, and you will settle. See, I'm giving you the answer. Jesus came. But long as my only man for far will come to me. Far, far, pay. Land me, cut wood. Far, pay. You give it. Or what does it mean to be Christ-like? E yai me nga sao me Jesus e kon. There are three things Jesus came with. Ba nga yang opikia mai re fasi me ne o kere i i kere ma fo fo kere yai mo mo. I didn't think uh, heavily about it. Anga mai senga i langa ka langa mo mo na le lok mo mo. And then uh, Pastor Senga uh, preached about this with his offering. Me alofa nga mai makoi. See the free kefe the Free Are me alofa moltupu. Well, it's for the king, for the priest, and also for the service ah, servant. Servant. Ah, Ongo Yesu Mambaliu. Because Jesus died. Me anga ngasau ma Yesu e kop. These are the three things Jesus came with. If I go to it, see in the Old Testament, go call what anga kan kofie. Of the people who were appointed to lead the nation, the king, the high priest, and the rest of the nation has to serve. Catch this, and you can study. See, I need a feedback from you. We have studied this for more than ten years now. I saw Jesus, and Jesus came. I saw my Maya Kolu Kongu Yake, and he came with these three things in him. He's a king. Or your two priests, or your little servant, or your full owner. Malu Yesu and Jesus died and rose again. Malu Yesu ascended to heaven. I go and come with your own men, and He imparted this in you and I. Ekele kankong, you do you don't believe in what I'm saying? Amen. Malu Yesu, I go and make come with your Jesus left and He. Eya los kaulanga ngai come with your. There is a priesthood in you. Amen. Shalua le iyal malmat. See the veil in the temple torn in two pieces. Only the high priests were able to enter the holy of holies. But Jesus came, making us to become priests. There's no Hebrew or Gentile. Or male or female. We are all priests. What does he mean by that? We have access into the presence of God. That's a priest in you. The other thing is the king. See, when you look at it, Jesus didn't. Take these three things back home. He imparted in all of us. There's leadership or king. Amen. There's a leadership in you. There's a king. See, when the Holy Spirit will come upon us, and the Word of God, you can see a lion arising from within you. There's a king in you. Or a tupu. Ah. Lan mali yong ay fa 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 fi kauri pa sa. See what does a lion do when the when the problem is? In line with what the book of Isaiah. In line with what the book of Isaiah. Who ele ko ele upu lo tu. God placed the word in your mouth. Lan mali yong ay fa. What does a lion what do? He roar. He roar. What? I ele roar or ele pussy cat. Yeah, I lay a word to my pussy. Amen. O meanga your kuspa yo kwa mea mo ya the real stuff. These are amazing truths in the word of God. Irenga ngai sol fal kanga pa pe ufa manga lo on sal. Yes, we our sins are forgiven when we come into salvation. Irenga irenga sol confesse ke fo iwa malo. When when you go back after this conference, you are solidified. Amen. Let's see that side. The lay, 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 on fall come. So on the other side of salvation, me and I prefer affair. He's the king. Oh, you're too poor. The priest. Oh, you're still long. And he said he came to serve. Malantala no shout out own now. So we will move away. Okay. You wash the feet of his disciples. Alusakaulo. He went up to the cross. Olongaiku. 
That's his servanthood side. Are you listening to what Jesus did for all of us? So this is where the blessings of Abraham will come through here. Amen. See, blessings of Abraham will come when you serve. See, when you look at the answers for these three things, the priest is the answer to your spirit. The king is the answer to the corruption of the mind. Priority of the king is wisdom. And that's why so God, God, I want wisdom. Are you unable to lead in the absence of wisdom? Does that make sense to you? Amen. Amen. So, you need to serve. Serving will bring prosperity. If you don't have anything on your hand, you are unable to give. Is giving. You give what you have. But these are the things inherent in us. Jesus left and he imparted all of this to us. And then another pastor came to and said, and look at how building. And then he said he prayed to God to bring business people to his church. After the service, went home and asked God, God, why should I want business people to come to my church? If you are able to do it to the donkey, you are able to do it to my people. And then this is what I said to my church. Why should we want business people to come? They will come with their money and control us. It's unable to bless us. Amen. 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 Poverty starts from the heart. As you as you think, so you are. Listen very careful, youth. Yeah, <coughs> and even the old heads. Now I'm talking to you. But your perception. It's just you and that uh, lady and the kids. Now, Apostle Toho is speaking directly to us. When you take the word of God, it will raise those naked kids. I have seen it works. 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 So this free person only Jesus can feel that emptiness. And I know it's scared. But Ezekiel saw that. Ezekiel's vision, he said, I saw the man coming. While facing to me, it's a man. On the other side is the lion. The other side is the ox. And on top of him is the, the eagle. King. The king, the priest, the servant. And if you study this, let's go back to the Trinity God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the answer to the body, soul, and my and the spirit. Corrupt And everything is corrupted. But we need to know the Holy Spirit came to stir up that lion in you. See, that eagle wanted to soar. The priest. The priest. They see far. They fly high. They operate at a very high level. They talk to God. They see things that Normal people don't see. See, they see the Trinity in the Bible. But you have a servanthood and a priesthood side. For you having young children, if you are able to train and embed this, 
to believe there's a priesthood in your son and even the king in your son you need to train and teach know how to serve and this is my cry to God. I say, Lord, we want to raise a generation. They are so anointed. Generation of wisdom. And a generation of prosperity. It's not right when you come to Jesus, you are poor. Other people's teaching. They equate poverty to holiness. Yeah. Is that true? And then the other pastor said something to him. He go against prosperity. This is not prosperity teaching. It's to be Christ like. I want to have fear of and then he'd be struggling asking money he ran out of petrol if you're a pastor and looking for a petrol money the church should sack you because you are very poor in your mindset hence why the church has that mindset as well please pursue education for your children the corruption in the mind. Ah. Uh, this ignorance. Is, ignorance will never depart from us. It's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, for us coming from overseas. Uh, some of you started off from Samoa. Uh, you had good jobs here in Samoa. Yeah. Uh, you've been living offshore for more than 40 years. Sadly to say, your children are following your footsteps the way you live in the house. Looking for hard labor jobs to find a food. How stupid is this? And you said you are born again. you are born again. And you are born again. Got you. That's not the God I'm saving. That's not the God I'm saving. I, I feel for the church, especially worship center. Uh, worship center. I, I know a lot, lot of churches are struggling. This didn't happen just overnight. But the mindset of others, they want to stop pledges. You just come to I already encourage the pastors and the elders. And then Apostle William and the committee know it for seven million projects in Melbourne. More than 20 elders who came with us in this conference. They have come to realization. I've been sharing and talking to them. The roots of this tree we are hanging on, it's here in Samoa. So, so we are just the branches but this is where the fatness is coming from if, if we abandon the pledge there is no juice and fatness That's not coming biblical. it's in the book of Acts Paul always connects things to Jerusalem and even the disciples so this is our Jerusalem I'm not saying this because I'm the leader of the church now. And some of our, our church have testimonies that the church is blessed. Yes, we are paying a mortgage. Some of our members are already building up their pledge for the base. But please listen. This is not what our mission It is God's doing. If someone did this, he has come to an end. 
Amen. See, you don't believe that God is able to do it to you. Look at the way you talk. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and His word is in my mouth. When you talk, you talk like a lion. You so high like an eagle. Even the ox, regardless of the state of soil, you can plow it. Instead of you crying like a pussycat, you are unable to do it. You have the anointing. Number four. Melon four. You are unable to stand on one's two leg. The churches have been trying to stand on one leg. They perceive when you're holy, that is enough. They couldn't cover the whole scope of things. And then they will cry later, unable to furnish some of the uh, activities <laughs> that needs to stand on three pillars. <laughs> See, this is the problem. <laughs> See, when we cultivate and develop these things, <laughs> and even people will pursue wisdom, and even finances you need to have this balance these three pillars See, through the word of God and the spirit of God will help build these three legs once you have the wisdom and then we don't see your face here in the church once your business is prosperous we are unable to see you again in the church you go for sure you have a priesthood leg you need to stand on three legs it's your body your spirit and even your mind or soul Amen. number five stay on four go higher to serve amen our study, oh, no, our study. When you pursue education, go hard on it. When you do your business, put, put your best into it. Instead of you selling only kamus and, and chickens. And then you look very tired. Go higher to serve. Only alliance will go into the business world. Or even whatever a secular position you have, in the you have a calling in that environment. Uh, one of our members used to be a truck driver. Uh, John who lost his iPhone. He did two masters, now a lecture at a university. In your mindset, how can you get there? A lot of our children, they are blessed and get there. And some of them are graduated. But amazingly, they still yeah. love serving in the house of God. Instead of you getting your degree and you vanish from us. <clears throat> Priest, go after the anointing. Kings, go after wisdom. Okay, as a leader. You oh, must it's go a, after wisdom. A, 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 a lot of people want to lead. Wait until the time you are fully equipped, then you go and lead. Uh, instead of anointing you and you post about your eldership, we need to train and teach you for a week. Okay, 
See leaders, he will give birth from it within. You can, you can walk around. You are the paramount chief of your family. You have none at all to give or share. And you don't have any money. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Are you getting a glimpse of the message? If you want to be Christ-like, Jesus' face heard some of the educated minds. And even Apostle Paul, he faced the Greek philosophers. And on the other thing, he was a it's running fast, TK. If you don't discover or understand it's running fast, TK. You see, creation and groaning is groaning. You need to look after your body. The problem is you are very spiritual. But we can see your temple not lining up. You need to eat balance, eat well. You need to rest well. And is even uh, exercise. Well. It's biblical, it's in the word of God. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. It's in the Bible. It says you need to do bodily exercise. Instead of you, you pray and then you can stretch the neurons of your legs. See, that's the mindset of, the, of us. Please, we For need to For bodily exercise, profit a little. But godliness is profitable for all things. Having promise of the life that now is and that which to come. Mawetatol <laughs> It actually means you need to stretch yourself bodily exercise. I do my exercise every morning. Yeah, if I if I'm still apostolic, I You need to do it. <coughs> If you don't understand what I'm trying to present, life is winding down. Scientists have discovered life is winding down. Exactly what the Bible is saying. Things are fading away and winding down. But our other things that are coming, it's even worse. The multiplication yeah. of the wickedness of humanity. Yeah. <clears throat> you need to look after your health. Amen. No need to point your finger at the senior pastors. Even the elders, the deacons. Yeah. Praise God. And the last one. The anointing to prepare you the pride of the Lamb of God to meet him. to meet our King in the air. So that's a theme of our conference that late Apostle Viliamu uh, inscribed it. We are unable to live a holy life without the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
We are unable to live a victorious life. We are unable to keep these three things. Dry and test these three things. See what Jesus came with. You don't have a, it's not optional or you don't have a choice. We have to obey it. Or either you will suffer. Now we are seeing that the variousness of the unbelievers and uneducated we are seeing people paying the price and even people suffering from poverty. So what shall we do today? The answer is in the word of God. See the spirit is upon us and his word he placed in our mouth. Now we put into practice, we are, we are able to do it. Amen. It can be done. Put your hand up if you believe. It can be done. Put your hand up. Put your hand up if you believe there's an eagle in you. Put your hand up if you believe you have an ox in you. I'm not talking about the rebellious ox. I'm talking about the ox that will serve. And it's a servant. Amen. Put your hand up if you had that ox to serve. Okay. When you read this vision, see the Holy Spirit will come. And these four animals will connect together. You need to connect to your church. You are unable to stay in your own cocoon. Other people, once you see yourself blessed, you isolate yourself from the rest. See, when you are connected to the others, you will see your potential unearthing. I am so blessed connected to Ben. We've been doing this for many years now. Every week we sit and teach the Bible to the, to the church. Praise God, we have come this far. Praise the Lord. All these things when you sit to, and then God will raise you. You will not worry about the rapture. The rapture will come. Whatever time it will happen, you're ready to go. And then, always being deceived with this kind of. Um, view. In the 70s and the 80s, uh, please don't attend your education. Don't send your school. No need to build houses or even business. Just wait. The coming of Jesus is near. Other people sitting here tonight, you still behave like that. You're not doing anything. You're just anticipating. I'm just hoping you're going to the I'm just hoping you're going to the rapture. Jesus said, Blessed is he when he comes, you are still serving. Just go and do what you're supposed to do. Uh, you need to know what you're doing. You will have a crown. Other say, Most importantly, it's going into eternity. Uh, if even the uh, righteous could barely make it, so where are the bunch of wicked will stand? Amen. For you coming from overseas, don't live under the center link or. Social welfare wins. 
It's a shame for you to be a Christian relying on the dog. Now we're gonna pray. Now we were trying to look at how we're going to do this in this. And then the Holy Spirit will help us. God, we normally do a tunnel. Just stand where you are. Just stand where you are. Be faithful in your heart. See, the Holy Spirit is moving in here. See, when the Holy Spirit will come upon us and He put His word in your mouth, you will sense uh, the spring up of the lion. Even that echo within us. You want to go home and perform these things. Amen. Instead of you winching about the, the message and even the trip. Okay. Do you believe that God is able to do it to you tonight? Okay. Praise God. Shall I call upon the senior pastors to come forth? We're all going to stand and face the congregation. Look at them. Just stand where you are. The same thing when we do the tunnel and what we are doing tonight. As we await for the Lord. Number one. Eradicates that mindset that you are unable to do it. You want to inherit what Jesus gave you. There is a priest. In you. There is a king. In you. And also, there is a servant in us. The ultimate desire of your heart. And you ask God, I want to help you. I want to help my family. I want to help this country of Samoa. We are unable to live in Samoa Amen. relying on the overseas Worship people. Center. Worship center, listen please. I'm praying that God will raise worship center to help the economy of Samoa. Educate our children. And even our children. You have been led to do a business. And even to do the church. And listen to what we are going to do. Wave your hand if you're ready. Spirit of the living God. So we sing that. Lift your hands.
This is my covenant with you, Lord. Speak up loud, please. Everyone, can we do it again? Speak up loud. This is my covenant with you, Lord. Your spirit is upon me. Your word you have put in my mouth. I say it again. This is my covenant with you, Lord. Your spirit is upon me. And your word you have put in my mouth. Okay, lift your hands now. Now, bosses, we're going to pray now. Just stand with faith. God knows your hearts and your needs. Your calling, your gifting. Now you are waiting for God. There is a priesthood in you. There is that king in you. And also a servant okay. within you. Now we can Father, pray. in the name of Jesus. The mile is well for you soon. We've given your word to your people. And all of us. You have said your word will not come back void. But shall perform what you have sent it for. I now ask for your Holy Spirit. To come upon your people now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I pray for the anointing upon them. I pray for the wisdom in them. I pray for the, the knowledge. Revelation. I pray for the blessing of Abraham upon them. In the name of Jesus. Now receive it in Jesus' name. The anointing is upon you now. In Jesus' name, receive it. Fill them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the fire of your Holy Spirit. I pray that you stir the lion in them. Stir it. The eagle. Ready to soar. In the name of Jesus. And the ox. Ready to serve. In the name of Jesus. I speak blessing over them. I speak prosperity of them. I speak the blessing of Abraham upon them. In the name of Jesus. Fill them with your presence, Lord. Now, church, it's yours. Take it. Take it, it's yours. Receive it in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just say something. Just thank God. You know, church, some of you or many of you have, have seen vision of what you're going to be in the whatever God has revealed to you just believe in it just make it a, to believe in it how, whatever how things 
Por your family, your career, but you totally believe with what God is giving to you. Just uh, continue the spirit of the Lord is upon you. And even his word he placed and put in our mouths. Lift your hands and thank him now. CEO Lima Mavatosov of Tayetia. I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth of Jesus. Thank him for what he has done for you. He died and rose again. Ascended to heaven. At the right hand side of the Bible. He has sent your Holy, His Holy Spirit. To be with you. Church, go. Go and be prosper. Let the light of Jesus shine through you. That you will be a fire in the midst of the storm. God has put his word in your mouth. It's going to make your mouth like fire. Put your hand on your mouth. In Jesus' name, let you for Jesus. And you ignite the, the fire in this mouth. In the name of Jesus, and you put your word. They will speak with authority. They will speak with boldness. In the name of Jesus, glorify you, our God. Glory be unto you. Let's give him a hand of praise. Just turn around and shake a hand right next to you. Child, I've got what I came here for. Now, if I lay a lewa, what you feel, men, I saw way nay. I don't have to have a moment of someone. Tell the person right next to you, got what I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 
I just shout to Let's give him another clap offering. Hallelujah. God, all the glory be in the Holy Spirit. And thank you for bringing the conference to its closing. All the glory be unto you. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Let's for Master Moses. Yeah. I want to thank you for our conference. Finally closing now. May God bless you all as you God go. Bless you. Amen. One, two, three. God bless. Thank you.